No matter what all the memes say, 2021 may not be the amazing year that you expect it to be. So here's my biggest piece of advice to make sure that it is. So first off, I do web development related videos one to two times a week. So if you're interested in that sort of content, make sure to subscribe below so you can check out more. All right, so 2020 is over. It like the joke, the hindsight now is actually 2020. It's kind of cool, it's kind of interesting after that being a saying for so long. I did a recap video uh, that you can check out for my personal uh, year in 2020, and there was lots of positive stuff. I had a lot of growth on YouTube, a lot of growth on Twitter. My wife and I got to find some new hobbies that we, we really enjoy doing and got to spend a lot of time together, which we really enjoy doing. So there was a lot of positive stuff for us in 2020. And as we look towards 2021, as other as everyone reflects back on 2020, I know there is a ton of negative things. We're locked inside of our houses. We're quarantined. We've had maybe we've lost family members or friends from COVID, which is terrible. And a lot of people I see have this mentality that, oh, OK, all of a sudden now when we make it to 2021, everything gets better. And I think the most important thing to keep in mind is the fact that this is a new year is a completely arbitrary thing. This is just, just an arbitrary date on an arbitrary calendar. The fact that it's a new year does not necessarily make it a better year. It has nothing to do with it actually being a better year. It's not guaranteed to be better than 2020. And so my biggest piece of advice is flat out 2021 is going to be exactly what you make it. There's other things going on in the world. There's outside factors. Obviously, of course, there are. But how you respond to that is totally up to you. Your attitude and how you take things is totally up to you. Your The actions you take is totally up to you. The response that you have to anything out there is totally up to you. What 2021 will be to you is exactly what you make it. That's really, really important. It's not a miracle thing. It's not a, it's not a complete change from 2020. It's just another year, and it's going to be as good as you make it. So when you look at what maybe your goals are, and I've got a video coming out, on my goals in a week or so. But what are your goals? If your goal is to get a job in programming, you should be working your ass off to learn the skills to get that first job. You should be going through tutorials, you should be building your portfolio, you should be building personal projects, you should be working on a resume, you should be reaching out to people. No matter what outside factors are going on in 2021, if you don't do those things, you will not get that job. And then 2021 will look like a shit year because you didn't get the job that you were hoping for. So you have to take those actions, whatever your goal is. If your goal is to spend time, more time with your family, no outside factor should take away from you spending more time with your family. 2021 will be whatever you make it out to be. If you're looking to learn a new skill, watch YouTube videos on that skill or that technology, go and practice that skill. All of that advice is still the same, but the change is it's not just going to take place miraculously. It's you having to do the work and you having the positive attitude and the drive and the passion to continue to do that stuff for yourself. And it's really easy to keep a lot of that passion, a lot of that excitement, a lot of that drive at the first of the new year. And you see this all the time in the gym, right? Like the gym at the beginning of the year pre-COVID is packed, right? And then people dwindle off. Like you, if you want those goals this year, you have to stick with them through the entire year. Whatever it is that you want to accomplish, you have to stick with it. So you have to remember this video, this talk. You have to remember why you're doing the things you're doing, what your goals are and why you have those goals every time that things get difficult. When you're tired, but you should spend a little bit more time working on a project or resume or something, spend that little bit more time. Instead of watching Netflix, watch a YouTube video, watch a Udemy course, listen to a podcast while you're driving to work, or if you stay home at work while you're cooking breakfast or lunch or dinner, listen to a podcast, invest that time wisely and choose to have it be intentional towards working towards your goals. That's the biggest piece of advice I can give you is 2021 will be exactly what you make it. It's not some miracle change from 2020. 2021 can be a shit year if you make it a shit year. So all of that said, I wish you the best of a year in 2021. I think it will be amazing. I'm super optimistic for my year upcoming, for the content that I'm going to create out, for the interaction and uh, engagement that I get to have with people who watch my videos. So thank you for that. If you do enjoy the video, uh, like it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so that you can see when I come out with more content in the future. In the meantime, thanks again for checking it out. As always, I wish you the best of 2021, and I'll see you there. You know better than that. Now I'm going to have to put that you know better speech on a video. And now she's going to come try to be on camera. Oh.
No, come be on camera now. Let let the world shame you. Hold on. Well, come over here and look. Sorry, so I can put it in the video. Why well, I look gross? Just. Hmm. I have no idea where I was. <laughs> Love you. Hmm. <laughs> oh gosh.